Is hemlock poisonous? There are two species known commonly as hemlock, Conium maculatum and Tsuga canadensis. Conium maculatum is a weedy plant, and all parts of it are poisonous. In ancient times minimal doses of the plant were used to relieve pain. Although there was a great risk of poisoning from this form of treatment. Conium maculatum was also used to carry out death sentences in ancient times. The Greek philosopher Socrates was condemned to death and sentenced to drink a potion made from hemlock. The poisonous species should not be confused with Tsuga canadensis. A member of the evergreen family. The leaves of T. canadensis are not poisonous and are often used to make tea. Among the invertebrates, which are the most intelligent? Most specialists agree that the cephalopods the octopi, squids, and nautilus are the most intelligent invertebrates. These animals can make associations among stimuli and have been used as models for studying learning and memory. Octopi can be trained to perform many tasks, including distinguishing between objects and opening jars to obtain food. What are the major characteristics of all chordates? All chordates share a notochord, dorsal nerve cord, and pharyngeal gill pouches. The notochord, a cartilaginous supporting rod, runs along the dorsal part of the body. It is always found in embryos, but in most vertebrates it is replaced. During development by a backbone of bony or cartilaginous vertebrae. The tubular dorsal nerve cord, dorsal to the notochord, is formed during development by an enfolding of the ectoderm. In vertebrates the nerve cord eventually becomes encased and thus protected by the backbone. The pharyngeal gill pouches appear during embryonic development on both sides of the throat region, the pharynx. What would be an example of a cross involving multiple alleles? Blood type in mammals is due to particular marker molecules. Called glycoproteins, located on the red blood cell membrane. In humans the ABO blood type is determined by a gene with three alleles, A, B, and I, no membrane marker. A and B code for different types of marker molecules. While A and B are equally dominant, both are dominant to I. So a cross of AIX by, blood type AXB, would generate the following ratios, one fourth of type of one fourth AI type A one fourth by type B one fourth two typo what is a goiter a 
A goiter is an enlargement of the thyroid gland caused by hypothyroidism, too little thyroxin. An insufficient dietary intake of iodine is a common cause of goiter. Other differences are, how does a mastodon differ from a mammoth? Although the words are sometimes used interchangeably. The mammoth and the mastodon were two different species. The mastodon seems to have appeared first, and a side branch may have led to the mammoth. The mastodon lived in Africa, Europe, Asia, and North and South America. It appears in the Oligocene era, 25 to 38 million years ago. And survived until less than 1 million years ago. It stood a maximum of 10 feet 3 meters tall and was covered with dense, woolly hair. Its tusks were straightforward and nearly parallel to each other. The mammoth evolved less than 2 million years ago and died out about 10,000 years ago. It lived in North America, Europe, and Asia. Like the mastodon, the mammoth was covered with dense, woolly hair. With a long, coarse layer of outer hair to protect it from the cold. It was somewhat larger than the mastodon, standing 9 to 15 feet, 2.7 to 4.5 m. The mammoth's tusks tended to spiral outward, then up. The gradual warming of the Earth's climate and the change in environment were probably primary factors in the mammoth's extinction. But early man killed many 274 mammoths as well perhaps hastening the process. What were the first uses of the terms gene and genotype? The terms gene, from the Greek term genos, meaning to give birth to, and genotype were first used in 1909 by a Danish botanist, Wilhelm Johansson, 1857-1927. Johansson is considered to be one of the architects of modern genetics. Why do small animals not have a circulatory system? Smaller animals such as hydras do not have a separate circulatory system. Since their cells are able to efficiently exchange materials, nutrients, gases, and wastes, through diffusion. The cells of these animals are close to the surface and thus can exchange nutrients effectively. What is the standard procedure for differential centrifugation? Differential centrifugation is a technique commonly used by biochemists. Tissue, such as liver, is homogenized at 32 degrees Fahrenheit 0 degrees Celsius. In a sucrose solution that contains both a buffer to stabilize the pH and a salt. The homogenate is then placed in a centrifuge and spun. At a constant centrifugal force at a constant temperature. 
after a predetermined amount of time, a sediment forms at the bottom of the centrifuge tube and is covered by an overlying solution called the supernatant. The overlying solution is then placed in another centrifuge tube. The sediment after the first centrifugation is called the nuclear fractions and consists mainly of nuclei, which are the largest and densest organelles present in cells. The supernatant is centrifuged at a higher centrifugal force for a longer period of time. Another group of particles, usually the mitochondria, form the sediment. The process is repeated several times, each time at a higher centrifugal force for longer periods of time. Until the sediment only contains enzymes and other substances not associated with any cell organelles. How do the two forms of chlorophyll, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, participate in photosynthesis? During photosynthesis, light is absorbed by pigments present in organisms. Chlorophyll is the primary pigment required for photosynthesis and occurs in all photosynthetic organisms except photosynthetic bacteria. Accessory pigments such as carotenoids and chlorophyll B absorb light that chlorophyll A cannot absorb. These pigments extend the range of visible light useful for photosynthesis. What is macroevolution? Macroevolution is large scale change that can generate entire new groups of related species, also known as a clade. One example would be the movement of plants onto land, all terrestrial plants are descended from that event, which occurred during the Devonian period 400 million years ago. What is cloning? A clone is a group of cells derived from the original cell by fission, one cell dividing into two cells. Or by mitosis, cell nucleus division with each chromosome splitting into two. Cloning perpetuates an existing organism's genetic makeup. Gardeners have been making clones of plants for centuries by taking cuttings of plants to make genetically identical copies. For plants that refuse to grow from cuttings, or for the animal world. Modern scientific techniques have greatly extended the range of cloning. The technique for plants starts with taking a cutting of a plant that best satisfies the criteria for reproductive success, beauty, or some other standard. Since all of the plant cells contain the genetic information from which the entire plant can be reconstructed, the cutting can be taken from any part of the plant. Placed in a culture medium having nutritious chemicals and a growth hormone. The cells in the cutting divide, doubling in size every six weeks until. The mass of cells produces small white globular points called embryoids. These embryoids develop roots, or shoots, and begin to look like tiny plants. Transplanted into compost, 
these plants grow into exact copies of the parent plant. The whole process takes 18 months. This process, called tissue culture, has been used to make clones of oil palm, asparagus, pineapples, strawberries, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, bananas, carnations, ferns, and others. Besides making highly productive copies of the best plant available, this method controls viral diseases that are passed through normal seed generations. What are loofah sponges? Loofahs are non-woody vines of the cucumber family. A fibrous skeleton lies inside of the fruit, and this structure is often used as a sponge. The term loofah is commonly used when this material is used as a sponge. Dishcloth gourd, rag gourd, and vegetable sponge are other popular names for this sponge. When do birds learn to sing? Male song sparrows generally learn to sing during a critical period between 10 and 50 days after hatching. In some birds such as the mouse wren, the learning period for song development is influenced by photo period. Amount of daylight, and social interactions with other adult birds. What is a community? Suppose you wanted to study not just the sparrows living in your backyard but also the insects they feed to their young and the plants that those insects eat. The term used by ecologists to describe a group of populations of different species living in the same place at the same time is community. This is a concise way of describing the organisms likely to be affected by any change to the local environment. What plant native to Central and South America can be used as both a poison and a healing remedy? Chondrodendron tomentosum, a plant that produces curare, has properties that are both healing and poisonous. In both Central and South America the plant has been used by many different Indian tribes to develop a poisonous mixture. The poisonous stems and roots of the plant are crushed and cooked until taking on a syrupy consistency. Indian tribes often dip the tips of arrows and other weapons into the poisonous paste before battle. However, the root of the vine also has healing properties. In Brazil, especially, it is used as a diuretic and fever reducer and is commonly used to treat tissue inflammation. Kidney stones, bruises, contusions, and edema. What is scanning tunneling microscopy? Scanning tunneling microscopy, 
STM, also called a scanning probe microscopy. Was developed in the 1980s to explore the surface structure of specimens at the atomic level. This technique uses electronic methods to move a metallic tip, a conducting material such as platinum iridium. Composed ideally of a single atom, across the surface of a specimen. As the tip is moved across the surface of the specimen, electrical voltage is applied to the surface. If the tip is close enough to the surface and the surface is electrically conductive, Electrons will begin to leak or tunnel across the gap between the probe and the sample. The tip of the probe is automatically moved up and down to maintain a constant rate of electron tunneling across the gap as the probe scans the sample. The movement is presented on a video screen. Successive scans then build up an image of the surface at atomic resolution. What is the difference between an endangered species and a threatened species? An endangered species is one that is in danger of extinction. Throughout all or a significant portion of its range. A threatened species is one that is likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future. What is a fixed action pattern? A fixed action pattern, FAP, is an innate behavior pattern that is genetic and thus independent of individual learning. It consists of a series of stereotypic behaviors that are dependent on an external signal. Sign stimulus, that causes the behavior. A well-documented FAP is the response of the male three-spined stickleback fish to aggressive stimuli. When a male stickleback is presented with a fish model displaying a red belly characteristic of males, it will display a series of standard threat and aggressive attack behaviors. What were the Beagle Voyages? The HMS Beagle was a naval survey ship that left England in December. 1831 to chart the coastal waters of Patagonia, Peru, and Chile. On a voyage that would last five years, Darwin's job as unpaid companion to the captain on board the Beagle allowed him to satisfy his interests in natural history. On its way to Asia, the ship spent time in the Galapagos Islands off the coast of Ecuador. Darwin's observations there caused him to generate his theory of natural selection. What is green fluorescent protein? Green fluorescent protein is a protein found in a luminescent jellyfish. Aquaria Victoria, that lives in the cold waters of the northern Pacific. Bioluminescence is the production of light by living organisms. These jellyfish contain two proteins. A bioluminescent protein called equorin that emits blue light, 
and an accessory green fluorescent protein, GFP. However, what we actually see when the jellyfish fluoresces is the conversion of the blue light emitted by equorin to a green light a metabolic reaction facilitated by the GFP. Since GFP is simply a protein, it is often used both as a marker for gene transfer and for localization of proteins. There are a variety of green fluorescent proteins that can glow different colors. What is meant by pH and why is it so important to living things? The term pH is taken from the French phrase T puissance D hydrogen, meaning the power of hydrogen. The composition of water can be used to understand the concept of pH. Water is composed of two hydrogen atoms bonded covalently to an oxygen atom. In a solution of water, some water molecules will dissociate into the component ions, the H and ion and the O ion. In chemistry the term equilibrium reaction is used to describe a situation in which there are an equal number of products and reactants. Water is an example of an equilibrium reaction, water contains H2O, H+, and O at all times. It is the balance of the two ions that determines pH. When there are more H and ions than O ions, the solution is referred to as an acid. And when there are more O ions than H and ions, the solution is referred to as a base. The concentration of hydrogen ions in water influences the chemical reactions of other molecules. Do male mosquitoes bite humans? No. Male mosquitoes live on plant juices, sugary saps, and liquids arising from decomposition. They do not have a biting mouth that can penetrate human skin as female mosquitoes do. In some species the females, who lay as many as 200 eggs, need blood to lay their eggs. These are the species that bite humans and other animals. What is loca weed? The legumerous loco weeds or milk vetches, genera astragalus and oxytropes, have been a severe problem for ranchers in the western half of the United States and are considered to be some of the most toxic plants for horses, sheep, goats, and cattle. Loco is the Spanish word for crazy and refers to the staggering and trembling behavior of poisoned animals who walk into things and react to unseen objects. The poisonous compounds are an unusual group of alkaloids that affect certain cells of the central nervous system, explaining the behavioral changes observed. What is the controversy surrounding the midwife toad?
During the 1920s an Austrian biologist, Paul Kammerer, 1880-1926, rose to prominence with claims that he had been able to demonstrate Lamarckian evolution, that is the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Kammerer had bred midwife toads, a land-breeding species, in water-filled aquaria for generations and reported that the toads had acquired the same structures that water-breeding toads used to hold onto each other. When Kammerer's toads were examined, they were found to have been injected with dye to mimic the pads found on the water-breeding toad species. Although Kammerer insisted that he was innocent, his reputation was ruined. And he committed suicide shortly thereafter. Why do animals pretend to be hurt? Among bird watchers, the female killdeer is well known for pretending to be hurt. When a potential predator appears within the vicinity of her nest, the killdeer will adopt a posture of wing dragging, making it appear that she is injured and an easy catch. The female will gradually lead the predator away from her nest eventually flying off when the predator is at a safe distance from the nest. How are bacteriophages classified? Bacteriophages are classified as either lytic or temperate. Lytic phages destroy the host cell. When a lytic virus infects a susceptible host cell, it uses the host's metabolic machinery to replicate viral nucleic acid and produce viral proteins. There are five steps in this process, attachment, penetration, replication, assembly, and release. During this process, which takes approximately 30 minutes, almost 100 phages are released. Temperate phages do not always destroy their host cell. After attachment and penetration, the DNA from a temperate phage becomes incorporated into the host bacterial DNA, it is then referred to as a prop phage. The prop age replicates at the same time as the bacterial DNA. The viral genes may be repressed indefinitely. Bacterial cells carrying prop ages are known as lysogenic cells. What are the components of smog? Smog, the most widespread pollutant in the United States, causes a photochemical reaction that produces ground-level ozone, an odorless and tasteless gas. Ozone, in the presence of light, can initiate a chain of chemical reactions. However, while ozone is desirable in the stratospheric layer of the atmosphere, Defending Earth's surface from radiation, it can be hazardous to health when found near Earth's surface in the troposphere. The hydrocarbons, hydrocarbon derivations, and nitric oxides emitted from such sources as automobiles are the raw materials for these photochemical reactions. In the presence of oxygen and sunlight, 
the nitric oxides combine with organic compounds such as the hydrocarbons from unburned gasoline to produce a whitish haze, sometimes tinged with a yellow-brown color. In the process, a large number of new hydrocarbons and oxyhydrocarbons are produced. These secondary hydrocarbon products may compose as much as 95% of the total organics in a severe smog episode. What is the evolutionary time scale? Trends in the fossil record require at least one million years to resolve themselves. And so paleontologists tend to work on a scale of 10 to 20 million years. Evolutionary biologists working on living species tend to describe selection as it occurs over a decade or less. How do plants obtain nitrogen? The primary way that plants obtain nitrogen compounds is via the nitrogen cycle, which is a series of reactions involving several different types of bacteria, including nitrogen fixing bacteria and denitrifying bacteria. During nitrogen fixation, symbiotic bacteria, which live in association with the roots of legumes, are able through a series of enzymatic reactions to make nitrogen available for plants. Nitrogen is crucial to all organisms because it is an integral element of proteins and nucleic acids. Although Earth's atmosphere is 79% nitrogen, molecular nitrogen is very stable and does not easily combine with other elements. Plants must use nitrogen in its fixed form, such as ammonia, urea, or the nitrate ion. What is centrifugation? Centrifugation is the separation of immiscible liquids or solids from liquids by applying centrifugal force. Since the centrifugal force can be very great, it speeds the process of separating these liquids instead of relying on gravity. Who was Rachel Carson? Rachel Carson, 1907 to 1964, was one of the first to describe to the general public the consequences of chemical contamination in the environment. In her book Silent Spring, Published in 1962, Carson exposed the dangers of hydrocarbons, particularly DDT, to the reproduction of species that prey upon the insects for whom the pesticide was intended. What is an atom? An atom is the smallest unit of an element, containing the unique chemical properties of that element. Atoms are very small several million atoms could fit in the period at the end of the sentence.
What are organelles? Organelles frequently called little organs are found in all eukaryotic cells. They are specialized, membrane-bound, cellular structures that perform a specific function. Eukaryotic cells contain several kinds of organelles, including the nucleus. Mitochondria, chloroplasts, endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi apparatus. Which pathogens are antibiotic resistant? Pathogens that are antibiotic or antimicrobial resistant produce diseases and infections that cannot be treated with standard antibiotics. These microbes have changed and mutated in ways that greatly reduce or eliminate the effectiveness of antibiotic drugs in curing or preventing infections. What general characteristics do all fishes have in common? All fishes have the following characteristics, 1, gills that extract oxygen from water. 2, an internal skeleton with a skin that surrounds the dorsal nerve cord. 3, single loop blood circulation in which the blood is pumped from the heart to the gills and then to the rest of the body before returning to the heart. 4, nutritional deficiencies particularly some amino acids that must be consumed and cannot be synthesized. How many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey? Bees must gather 4 pounds 18 kilograms of nectar, which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers. In order to produce 1 pound, 454 g, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is 3 to 6 weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. How are different species of fungi classified? Fungi classification is based mainly on the type of reproductive spore a fungi produces. If the reproductive, sexual spores of a species have not been identified or examined, the fungi are placed in the phyla deuteromycota. The three phyla of fungi are ascomycota, basidiomycota, and zygomycota. Each phyla has unique reproductive spores, ascospores, basidiospores, and zygospores. A zygospore is a large spore enclosed in a thick wall. It is the result of the fusion of the nuclei of two cells that are morphologically similar to each other. An ascospore is the fusion of two cells that are either morphologically similar or dissimilar. Ascospores are produced in a sac-like structure called an ascus. Members of the phyla ascomycota are known as sac fungi. Basidiospores are formed on a base pedestal called a basidium. 
members of the Phyllobasidiomycota are known as club fungi due to the shape of the pedestal. The phylum Chytridiomycota has at times been classified in the kingdom fungi and at other times in the kingdom protista. Recent evidence obtained from comparisons of protein and nucleic acid sequences has suggested they belong in the kingdom fungi. What are some specific examples of how plants are economically important? Materials of plant origin are found in a wide variety of industries including paper, food, textile, and construction. Chocolate is made from cocoa seeds, specifically seeds of the species Theobroma cacao. Foxglove, Digitalis purpurea, contains cardiac glycosides used to treat congestive heart failure. The berries obtained from the plant Piper nigrum produce black pepper. The berries are dried, resulting in black pepper corns, which can then be cracked or ground. Tea can be made from the leaves of Camellia sinensis. Fiber taken from the stem of flax plants, Linum usitatissimum, have been used to make linen. While the flax seeds are commonly consumed and are a source of linseed oil. Paper money is even made from flax fibers. What are the four phases of the bacterial population growth curve? The four phases of the bacterial population growth curve are, lag phase, exponential phase. Also called logarithmic, stationary phase, and death phase, also called decline. During the lag phase there is no increase in cell numbers. Although the bacteria are synthesizing enzymes present in their environment in preparation for the exponential phase. During the exponential or logarithmic phase. The bacterial population grows at a rate that doubles the population during the generation time. The stationary phase incurs neither an increase nor a decrease in the cell population. The population growth cannot continue at the exponential rate since the nutrient supplies have been depleted and waste products have accumulated. The final phase of the bacterial population growth curve is the death phase. During which more cells die than are replaced by new cells. What is the law of complementary base pairing? The law of complementary base pairing refers to the pairing of Nitrogenous bases in a specific manner, purines pair with pyrimidines. More specifically, adenine must always pair with thymine, and guanine must always pair with cytosine. The basis of this law came from the data obtained by Edwin Chargaff. 1905 to 2002, and is known as Chargaff's law or rule. The DNA strands are called anti-parallel. What factors affect enzyme function?
Enzymes may be controlled at a variety of levels, since proteins are coated with DNA. A change in DNA will change the rate at which an enzyme is produced. Control molecules known as competitive inhibitors may prevent the substrate from reaching the enzyme. Allosteric or non-competitive regulators may bind elsewhere on the enzyme. Causing its shape to change and thereby altering its active site. Changes in environmental conditions such as pH, temperature, or salt concentration also affect shape. Absence of required enzyme helpers such as vitamins and minerals. What is Berge's Manual of Determinative Bacteriology? Berge's Manual of Determinative Bacteriology is an extensive reference manual used for bacterial classification. The first edition was published in 1923 under the sponsorship of the Society of American Bacteriologists. Organized in 1899 and now known as the American Society for Microbiology. This reference work was first conceived by David H. Bergey, 1860-1937, with the assistance of a special committee of the Society of American Bacteriologists chaired by Francis C. Harrison. The most recent edition was published in four volumes in 2001 under the name Bergey's Manual of Systematic Bacteriology. What is the structure of stems of seed plants? There are three basic types of organization in the primary structure of stems. 1. The vascular system may appear as a continuous hollow cylinder around the pith. 2. Discrete vascular bundles may form a single ring around the pith. Or 3, the vascular bundles may appear scattered throughout the ground tissue. What is the controversy surrounding Bt corn and the monarch butterfly? Bt corn was specifically engineered to control the European corn borer, which in 2003 caused an estimated $1 billion worth of damage to you. S. Farmers. In 1999 a study was released, based on controlled laboratory feeding experiments. That showed that corn pollen from Bt altered plants would kill monarch butterflies. In the study, three-day-old monarch butterfly larvae were fed milkweed leaves dusted with Bt corn pollen. The larvae ate less, grew slower, and had a higher mortality rate than those. Fed milkweed with no corn pollen or milkweed coated with non-Bt corn pollen. However, the laboratory study did not provide information on the number of Bt pollen. Grains that were consumed by the monarch larvae in order to observe the lethal effects. Also, no information was provided on the effects on older, larger larvae. Which would be expected to have a higher tolerance to Bt toxicity. Headlines such as attack of the killer corn and nature at risk triggered regulatory action.
on the part of the European Union to ban the importation and use of Bt corn varieties in Europe. In response, other researchers described the use of Bt as a biocontrol agent since 1938 because of its selective toxicity to certain species within a given insect order. After extensive studies dealing with the likelihood that Bt corn pollen would be found on milkweed plants near cornfields that are close to the habitats of monarch butterflies, certain safeguards were set to decrease the risk of Bt corn pollen to monarchs. 1. Farmers in monarch rich areas should choose to grow Bt corn with lower toxicity levels. Two. Plant a border of non-BT corn around a BT cornfield to decrease the problem of pollen drift to milkweed plants, and 3. Plant milkweeds at sites away from cornfields to increase the probability of female monarchs encountering milkweed plants that are uncontaminated with corn pollen. Why is the white birch known as paper birch? The outer layer of the birch tree grows in sheet-like layers. Hence it has been known as paper birch. It is the same tree that Native Americans used to make paper birch canoes. What are the most common tapeworm infections in humans? Tapeworms, members of the class Cestida, have long flat bodies in which there is a linear series of sets of reproductive organs. Each set or segment is called a proglottid. How are hazardous waste materials classified? There are four types of hazardous waste materials, corrosive, ignitable, reactive, and toxic. Corrosive materials can wear away or destroy a substance. Most acids are corrosive and can destroy metal, burn skin, and give off vapors that burn the eyes. Ignitable materials can burst into flames easily. These materials pose a fire hazard and can irritate the skin, eyes, and lungs. Gasoline, paint, and furniture polish are ignitable. Reactive materials can explode or create poisonous gas when combined with other chemicals. Combining chlorine bleach and ammonia, for example, creates a poisonous gas. Toxic materials or substances can poison humans and other life. They can cause illness or death if swallowed or absorbed through the skin. Pesticides and household cleaning agents are toxic. What is the nervous system? The nervous system is an intricately organized, interconnected system of nerve cells that relays messages to and from the brain and spinal cord of an organism in vertebrates. It receives sensory input, processes the input, 
and then sends messages to the tissues and organs for an appropriate response. In vertebrates there are two parts to the nervous system, one, the central nervous system. Consisting of the brain and spinal cord, and two, the peripheral system. Consisting of nerves that carry signals to and from the central nervous system. What are the steps of the gram stain? Crystal violet, a primary stain, one that imparts its color to all cells, is applied to a heat fixed smear. After a short time, the crystal violet is washed off, and the smear is covered with iodine, a mordant. When the iodine is washed off, the bacteria appear dark violet or purple. The slide is then washed in an alcohol or alcohol acetone solution. This decolorizing agent removes the purple from the cell of some species but not from others. The alcohol is rinsed off, and the slide is then stained with saffronine, a basic red dye. The smear is then washed again, blotted dry, and examined under a microscope. Gram-positive bacteria retain the purple dye. While those that lose the purple color are classified as gram-negative. Are all genes in a genome used by an organism? No. All genes are not used by an organism all the time. Since protein synthesis is an energy intensive cellular process, proteins are not produced unless they are needed for a specific cell function. For example, before a human has reached adult height, Cells are continually producing human growth hormone, a protein that encourages bone and muscle growth. However, at a certain age, which varies by individual, the gene will become dormant and will no longer produce growth hormone. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white footed mice eat this serious insect pest. Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, Two flies Compis luricincinata, a tachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. How can organisms with just one set of chromosomes reproduce? An organism that is haploid, one set of chromosomes, can reproduce by mitosis to produce more haploid cells or a multicellular haploid organism. This is typical of some algae and fungi. What are the different kinds of mutations?
mutations may be germinal, occurring within the gametic cells. Or somatic, occurring within any non-sex cell. The difference is that a germinal mutation will affect all cells of an individual. While a somatic mutation will only affect those cells produced by mitosis from the original mutated cell. There are various categories of mutations, a point mutation is a change in a single DNA base. A deletion occurs when information is removed from a gene and insertion occurs when extra DNA is added to a gene frame shift mutations occur when one or two bases are either added or deleted. What is the relationship between telomeres and cancer? Increased telomerase activity can increase longevity of cells. But it is also implicated in cancer formation. Almost 90% of cancer cells have been found to have enhanced telomerase activity. And a cancer cell usually divides about 80 times before a tumor mass becomes large enough to be detected. In contrast, Normal human cells usually divide 30 to 50 times before telomeres become too short and doubling stops. What fungus plays an important role in human organ transplantation? The soil inhabiting fungus Talipoclidium inflatum is the source of cyclosporin. A medication that suppresses the immune reactions that cause organ transplant rejections. Cyclosporin does not cause the undesirable side effects that other immune suppressing medications do. This remarkable drug became available in 1979 making it possible to resume organ transplants which had essentially been abandoned as a result of cyclosporin successful organ transplants are almost commonplace today how did the protest fight of thura infestans influence irish history Phytophthora infestans, one of the potato's most lethal pathogens, causes the late blight of potato disease. This pathogen was responsible for the Irish potato famine of 1845 to 1849. P. Infestans causes the leaves and stem of the potato plant to decay. Eventually causing the tuber to stop growing. In addition, the tubers are attacked by the pathogen and rot. It has been estimated that 1.5 million Irish people emigrated from their country and moved to various parts of the world, but most immigrated to the United States. An estimated 400,000 people perished during the famine due to malnutrition. Do pine trees keep their needles forever? Pine needles occur in groups, called fascicles, of two to five needles. A few species have only one needle per fascicle, while others have as many as eight. Regardless of the number of needles, 
a fascicle forms a cylinder of short shoots that are surrounded at their base by small scale-like leaves that usually fall off after one year of growth. The needle-bearing fascicles are also shed a few at a time, usually every two to ten years. So that any pine tree, while appearing evergreen, has a complete change of needles every five years or less. Where are ribosomes found in a cell? Ribosomes are found in the cytoplasm of both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. As well as in the matrix of mitochondria and the stroma of chloroplasts. In eukaryotic cytoplasm, Ribosomes are found in the cystal and are bound to the endoplasmic reticulum as well as the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope. How do prions work? Scientists have not discovered exactly how prions work. Current research shows that prions accumulate in lysosomes. In the brain, it is possible that the filled lysosomes burst and damage cells. As diseased cells die, the prions contained in the cells are released and are able to attack other cells. Species commonly used in genetics research how can one gene control another? One gene cannot actually control another gene, but one gene can mask the effect of another gene. This is called epistasis. For example, a gene in Labrador dogs controls deposition of melanin. The dominant allele B causes deposition of large amounts of melanin. A recessive allele B causes less deposition. So a BB or BB dog is black, while a BB dog is brown. Another gene controls whether or not melanin is deposited at all. This gene E allows deposition of melanin while the recessive form E does not. Therefore, an EE dog is yellow while an EE or EE dog is not yellow and has melanin. The interaction of two genes, the B and E genes, thus controls coloration in Labrador dogs. What is a macromolecule? Macromolecules are literally giant polymers made from the chemical linkage of smaller units called monomers. To be considered a macromolecule, a molecule has to have a molecular weight greater than 1000 Daltons. A Dalton is a standard unit of measurement that refers to the mass of a proton. It can be used interchangeably with atomic mass unit, AMU. Who was Diane Fossey? Dion Fossey, 1932-1985 was an occupational therapist who, inspired by the writings of the naturalist George Schaller, 
1933, decided to study the endangered mountain gorilla of Africa. She was trained in field work by Jane Goodall and went on to watch and record the behavior of mountain gorillas in Zaire and Rwanda. She eventually 326 obtained a PhD in zoology. From Cambridge University and in 1983 published a book on her studies. Gorillas in the Mist. In 1985 she was found murdered in her cabin in Rwanda, her death is still unsolved. How long does it take to produce a mature pine cone? From the time young cones appear on the tree, it takes nearly three years for them to mature. The sporangia of a pine tree are located on scale like sporophylls that are densely packed in structures called cones. Conifers, like all seed plants, are heterosporous. Meaning that male and female gametophytes develop from spores produced by separate cones. Small pollen cones produce microspores that develop into the male gametophytes or pollen grains. Larger, ovulate cones make megaspores that develop into female gametophytes. Each tree usually has both types of cones. This three-year process culminates in the production of male and female gametophytes. Brought together through pollination, and the formation of mature seeds from the fertilized ovules. The scales of ovulate cones then separate, and the seeds are scattered by wind. A seed that lands on a habitable place germinates, its embryo emerging as a pine seedling. Other than DNA, what else can nucleotides be used for? Nucleotides can also act as messengers or modulators. For example, the nucleotide adenosine, adenine plus ribose without the phosphate. May be the most important type of immunomodulator, a compound that increases or decreases neuronal activity. Adenosine is used clinically to stop the heart when it is beating erratically. The natural heart pacemaker cells then return the heart to its normal rhythm. Adenosine is also thought to play a role in feelings of fatigue or tiredness. Neuroscientists currently theorize that caffeine works to maintain alertness by interfering with the reception of adenosine on the cell surface. Do whales really talk to one another? Whales produce low-frequency sounds that allow them to communicate across long distances. Recent research has found that among the fin whales, only males produce these calls. The long low-frequency sounds of male fin whales attract females to patches of food. Where mating can then occur. This means that the increasing amounts of sonar activity from ships in the ocean may interfere with the ability of these males to find mates, and therefore threatens the species' survival. Do 
Do animals suffer from allergies? Veterinarians report that dogs and cats suffer from allergies. They may be allergic to food, insect bites, dust, household chemicals, or pollen. Instead of having runny noses and watery eyes, animals experience itchy skin conditions. Difficulty in breathing, or disruptions in the digestive tract. Which animal viruses are DNA viruses and which are RNA viruses? Why is it difficult to treat viral infections with medications? Antibiotics are ineffective against viral infections because viruses lack the structures, e. g. a cell wall, with which antibiotics interfere. In general, it is difficult to treat viral infections with medications without affecting the host cell. As viruses use the host cell's machinery during replication. Several antiviral drugs have been developed that are effective against certain viruses. What aspects of a cancer cell do most anti-cancer treatments target? Anti-cancer drugs attempt to slow down or stop the ongoing cell division that occurs in cancerous tissues. Treatment protocols include radiation, heat exposure, freezing, surgery, and slash or drug therapy. What is the relationship between bacteria and temperature? All microorganisms have temperature ranges that determine growth. Overall, microorganisms are unique in their ability to exist and grow at temperatures ranging from 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 230 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Temperature restrictions are due to limitations in cell metabolism. A microorganism's maximum temperature is the highest temperature at which growth can occur. Minimum temperature is the lowest temperature at which growth can occur. A microorganism's optimum temperature is the temperature at which the growth rate is the fastest. The maximum, minimum, and optimum temperatures define the range of growth. For each microorganism and are collectively referred to as the cardinal temperatures. Bacteria are divided into four groups on the basis of their cardinal temperatures for growth. Psychrophiles, mesophiles, thermophiles, and extreme thermophiles. The following chart lists the temperature ranges at which these groups can grow. What parts of plants are sources for spices? Spices are aromatic seasonings derived from many different parts of plants including the bark, buds, fruit, roots, seeds, and stems.
What is the difference between simple leaves and compound leaves? The blades of simple leaves are undivided, although they may have deep lobes. By contrast, the blades of compound leaves consist of clearly separated leaflets. Each leaflet usually has its own petiole, which is called a petiolule. There are two types of compound leaves, pinnately compound leaves and pomately compound leaves. The leaflets in pinnately compound leaves arise from either side of an axis called the rachis, which is an extension of the petiole. The leaflets in pomately compound leaves originate at the tip of the petiole and lack the rachis. Why is photosynthesis important? Ultimately, Photosynthesis is the process that provides food for the entire world. Each year more than 250 billion metric tons of sugar are created through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a source of food not only for plants, but also all organisms that are not capable of internally producing their own food, including humans. What is an artificial chromosome? An artificial chromosome is a new type of vector that allows cloning of larger pieces of DNA. It consists of a telomere at each end, a centromere sequence and specific sites at which foreign DNA can be inserted. Once the DNA fragment is spliced in, the engineered chromosome is reinserted into a yeast cell. The yeast then reproduces the chromosome as if it were part of the normal yeast genome. As a result, a colony of yeast cells would then all contain a specific fragment of DNA. What are the precursors of the vascular tissue, ground tissue, and epidermis? Soon after the plant embryo forms, the primary meristems develop. The protoderm, the precursor of the epidermis, forms in the outermost cells of the embryo. Vertical divisions within the embryo result in the distinction between the procambium. The precursor of the vascular tissue, and the ground meristem, the precursor of the ground tissue. <laughs>